and welcome to Femtaro channel. I'm Natalie. Aquarius will be looking at you now and looking at what is to be expected for the second half of June. What's the energy around it? What's the message? Is there a message there for you or one of you or several of you? We'll find out and then we'll ask for some advice. So I've already shuffled, but now I just want to see which three cards, first three cards are going to pop out for Aquarius for the second half of June. What's the message? What's the energy, please? Too many cards, but I'll take them. Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Strength card. King of Cups. Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. <sighs> money, money, money. Ain't it funny? Let's get back to business. So we have Pentacles and Cups and we have a Major Arcana and the Strength card. So there's a lot going on right now and you're worried about money. You're worried about money. You're not, you feel on one hand, you feel confident that, you know, you have your job, you have skills, you're good at what you do and you know, you, you're not gonna, you're, you're not gonna be left out on the street, out in the cold without any money because you have the skill set and the experience and you have a job as well or if you don't have a job you're still feeling quite confident that you'll be able to find a good job but you are worried about the money because it seems that your pocket has a hole in it and everything that goes in just like drops out as well and this is where you have to show stamina and um stamina and uh what's the word i'm looking for Oh, it's the hair. So anyways, let's just say stamina. You just need stamina, strength, and um, stubbornness regarding money in order to do more savings and not spend as much. And that will that is what you need right now because you feel very, very much that you, you've lost a little bit control of the financial situation. And then we have a King of Cups. So we have someone who, backup plan. You have a backup plan. It's a King of Cups. So it's someone, uh, a water sign. It's a water sign. It's a Pisces, a Pisces man. That's what he is. A Pisces man is there to help you is your backup plan, but you're not using this plan yet because you're not at that point where you're like, ooh, I don't have money to eat this month. It's not like that. You're actually trying, you're very, uh, you're very disciplined with your money at the moment. You're trying to spend less and, and be more aware of where you're spending it when you have to. And then we have the five of cups which I see a little bit of a chaotic situation. You kind of blame yourself for the situation that you're in, but you also don't. You pretty, you might also blame this King of Cups, who is your plan B, but if you're married to them or if you're related to them or if you have a partnership to them, maybe also that you feel that they're also partly responsible for the situation that you're in at the moment financially. But you have to be strong and headstrong about it really because the this is the there's there's nothing else you can do it's it, there's a major arcana here so you are going through this there's it's not going to change that fast and that easily ace of cups ace of pentacles seven of pentacles i will draw the other one so two what wait we have two aces cups and pentacles and we only have cups and pentacles in your reading no swords unbelievable right 
which means it's definitely the money issue. You are, um, you're starting something or you're creating, you're just starting something or creating something new and you've put your heart, your soul, your money, your time, everything into it and it's going to pay off. And it's going to pay off with the Ace of Pentacles. So be patient. Be patient. See here the Seven of Pentacles? It's planting those seeds and waiting for that, for that money tree to grow, the pentacle tree to grow. It's happening. It, it's, it's, it's working. You need to be patient. Continue what you're doing now, which is saving. Don't overspend. Be more, you know, more, more aware of how you spend your money. Don't, uh, don't blame other people for your misfortune or for your mistakes. Whether this King of Cups was partly responsible or not, it does not matter anymore, does it?